Florida Sheriff's Office not backing down to NFL, Miami Dolphins smacked by karma. The newest NFL football team to make a fool out of themselves are the Miami Dolphins. They have followed the footsteps of the ungrateful millionaire spoiled brat ball players who are refusing to stand for the national anthem. But in this particular case, the Florida Sheriff's Office decided they won't be putting up with these players' crap, nor the silence of the NFL or the Miami Dolphins Association towards this disrespect. The police union has announced they will not be escorting the Miami Dolphins team members to their games until they start doing what all Americans should do and stand during the presentation of our nation's colors and the national anthem is sung. The local Broward County Police Union has also made a statement that they won't be escorting the team either. Good for them. The Miami Dolphins organization and the NFL have made it very clear that their employees can do whatever they want during the national anthem. But that goes both ways. Just like NFL players have the right to not stand in respect of our nation and her flag, the police association also has their right to refuse to escort the players. Isn't it just great how freedom works? The undefeated reports, NFL viewership down and study suggests it's over protests but the league cites other reasons millions of people tune in on any Sunday, Thursday, or Monday during NFL season to watch a game. In 2014, about 205 million viewers watched part or all of an NFL game. According to a recent internal memo from the NFL, the numbers have dropped. The memo addressed the league's concern about declining viewership, stating that as of week 4, ratings were down by 11%. While the NFL attributes the decline in ratings to the presidential race, a study conducted by Rasmussen Reports shows otherwise. Approximately 1,000 American adults participated in a telephone questionnaire on October 2nd to 3rd that revealed nearly one-third, 32%, are less likely to watch an NFL game due to players taking a stand and protesting the national anthem. 13% want to watch a game because of the protests. 52% do not base their viewing choice on the protests at all. But the league executives disagree. There is no evidence that concern over player protests during the national anthem is having any material impact on our ratings. In fact, our own data shows that perception of the NFL and its players is actually up in 2016, the executives wrote in the memo. So let's break down some numbers. Over the last 15 years, the memo stated that NFL viewership overall has increased 27% although total primetime viewership declined by 36%. At issue, the survey was conducted using a small sample size, as most studies are, of 1,000 people. So those 1,000 are used to measure the thought process of more than 200 million NFL viewers. According to Rasmussen reports in a survey four years ago, football was Americans' favorite sport. The current study reveals that blacks and whites have different opinions. 28% of blacks say they are more likely to tune into an NFL game because of the protests, compared with 8% of whites and 16% of other minority Americans. It also reveals that 59% of black voters view the Black Lives Matter movement favorably, while 31% of whites and 49% of other minority voters disagree. Further results directly from the study reveal the following. Blacks strongly believe they are treated unfairly by the police, but most overall voters think crime in inner cities is a bigger problem than police discrimination against minorities. 29% of men say they are less likely to watch an NFL game because of the growing protests, while 18% say they're more likely to watch. Among women, 35% say they are less likely to watch, and only 8% are more likely to tune in. Those younger than age 40 are more likely to watch NFL games because of the protests than their elders are. But just over half of adults in all age groups say the growing protests have no impact on their viewing decisions. It's really great seeing how NFL viewership is falling fast because of this crap. People are pushing back against these spoiled rich ball tossers, but the only way this crap will stop for good is when the NFL gathers enough guts and says enough and starts hitting these thugs where it hurts, their pocketbooks. You don't stand, you don't get paid. It's simple. Just like the NFL doesn't let its employees wear, 
or display certain unapproved things during games. They can tell them to stand the hell up for our national anthem and stop disrespecting our great nation and everything she and us stand for and hold dear. Please share if you agree the NFL needs to be boycotted until they start fining their employees who decide to disrespect our flag. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.